some videos get sent to me over and over even though they come pre-debunked. Like this one. As a helicopter takes off, its rotor appears to barely move. How? Well, it's explained right in the title. Camera shutter speed matches helicopter's rotor. Very viral. Also, for any licensing inquiries, please contact the guy. But we're not here to profit off reposting the video. We're here to profit off a transformative work of criticism designed to educate without detracting from the potential market for the original copyrighted work. <clears throat> In my professional opinion, the explanation in the title is wrong, or at least incomplete. Shutter speed is only responsible for making the blades look sharp. By exposing the image for a tiny fraction of a frame's time, motion blur is reduced. But even without motion blur, spinning things can look like they're spinning. The reason this rotor's blades look like they're not spinning is because the time skipped between video frames recorded by this camera happened to match a 72 degree multiple of the five bladed rotor's turn. And since helicopter rotors and camera frames rates move at a constant, precisely controlled speed, they stay in sync and the effect continues for a while. So let's edit the video's title to be more accurate and we're done. <sighs> now what? But can you recreate similar video with a different helicopter? Winking smiley face. I would love to, Meg. Unfortunately, my helicopter is currently in the shop, so I'll have to demonstrate using a simpler method that you can all try at home. It involves a strobe light and a ceiling fan. Luckily, I just installed one. The strobe simulates a limited frame rate. While flashing it at the spinning fan, we can adjust the rate until it matches those 72 degree increments of rotation and see the effect in real life. But showing you the process in this video presents an additional challenge because of the dreaded artifact known as rolling shutter. Back when cameras were old and lame, they captured space-time as it really is, happening all at once. <sighs> That's so last century. Today's state-of-the-art cameras capture images progressively, skewing time across the vertical dimension of a frame like jello. The effect of these rolling scans is always there, regardless of shutter speed, distorting all moving objects. It's nearly invisible in most situations, especially if the object is small, but very rapid motion across the frame, unblurred by a fast shutter, can make it very apparent. It bends the blades of our fan and captures the strobe flashes and weird partial slices. For some reason, the world has decided that this is totally fine. Almost all modern video footage, amateur or professional, has rolling shutter, and even some theatrical movies don't seem to mind having these artifacts in the picture. But that's not good enough for this channel. We're gonna need to dig up a modern camera with global shutter. Okay, let's do this. Now our blades are nice and straight, and the flashes fill the frame. As we ramp up the strobe speed, the fan appears to slow down, then absolute stillness. That's cool. But now, let's try a non-seizure-inducing version. Instead of speeding up a strobe light, we'll slow down our camera's frame rate to dial in the effect, same as in the original video. At the default 24 frames per second, things look pretty spinny. By 18 frames per second, they slow down, and at exactly 15 frames per second, the magic happens. Let's mark one of the blades in order to keep track of it. We can see that it doesn't travel very far. It pops just one place over on every frame. That's 72 degrees every 15th of a second, or 3 revolutions per second, or 180 RPM. That math checks out. Does it not? Australian recreational mathematics author, comedian, and YouTube personality, Matt Parker? That's right. Three times 60 is 180. Nice. Anyway... No, wait. There's loads more interesting mathematics. I've just made a whole video about when the blades of a helicopter align with the frame rate. Thanks, Matt. Now, the helicopter footage was shot at 25 frames per second, but helicopter rotors also spin much faster, between 250 and 600 RPM. So here, the blades probably swap over two or even three places every frame. In our simulation, we have to compensate for the slower fan by reducing the frame rate, but the resulting illusion, known as the wagon wheel effect, is the same. Hope that clears it up. If you want to see this replicated with an actual helicopter, I guess you can check out Matt Parker's fancy video. 
But if you want to try your own experiment with a ceiling fan and you need to hang one up, don't waste money on a professional installation. I rigged this bad boy all by myself and it's been working just fine.